Before this video begins, I want to encourage you all to go and support the channel by checking out the new merch store down below in the description. Clicking that link will take you to the merch store website where you can find all the different card bundles I have themed around the channel for sale. You'll see card bundles of packs of one, three, and five. Any of these purchases gives you the chance to also potentially win the rare one of one foil card. So check these out below. And now let's get back to the video. What's up, brawlers? Today we're back at it again. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Uh, a little while ago, I asked you guys to submit your Bakugan collections. Today, we're going to be looking at more of them. The rules were simple. If you had not ever posted, you're welcome to submit. Uh, if you have posted before, you could submit so long as your collection had drastically changed. The rule was three pictures. <laughs> Most people submitted more than that. Uh, I took the liberty of picking the best ones for you. There are two of them that have four, and you'll see why in the video. I think that four was very justifiable for those people in particular. But for the most part, uh, everyone got three pictures. Thank you to all of you who submitted, and everything should be in alphabetical order. So if you want to just skip to yours for some reason, you can, but everything is in alphabetical order based on Discord name. So if you submitted, your Discord name is the one that's going to pop up. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So first one, we have a pretty solid collection. I don't see any complaints with this. We got Drago right here. Okay, obviously we have to have Drago, a big old deck of Skyrus, two of them actually. Uh, and then one of the launchers right here, which is pretty cool. I haven't used this launcher. I bet it's a lot easier to use. Um, and it's just like an assortment of Bakugan. Very nice. Got the deluxe Boomix right there. Super cool. Take a closer look over here. Nice. Okay, we got a Ventus Monaris and a Limulus. Never owned a Limulus. Got the Skyrus right here. Seems like you're a big fan of Skyrus. I dig it. Yep, Storm Skyrus, Ingram. Awesome. Okay, got a Reptac right here. Helios. Ooh, you got the Diecast uh, Black and Silver Cyborg Helios. Very nice. And a Reaper peeking by over there. I see him. Okay, next up. Looks like a different person, so... Ooh, is that a Korean or like the um, anime accurate paint color from the Asian countries? And some Chacos, okay. Very nice. And then you can see right back here, there's a ton of different Bakugan. So, super cool there. I think that's a... What is this? Is this a Hynoid? <laughs> I think that's a Hynoid. Okay, a couple more. Ooh. Okay, we got some of the other gens. I really like this Sirenoid. That's cool. I like the color... Nice, some metallics. Okay, a Ventry. I, I assume these are custom painted. They all look pretty custom painted. I like the feral. That's cool. Uh, nice Butterclaw. Okay. Yeah, these are cool. Wait, hang on. Is that like a Chaos looking Butterclaw? Very nice. Oh, and here, okay. I guess we got an overview of the, uh, the, the bins. Let's see. So it's categorized. Let's see. We have B1, it looks like. Very cool. Is that a Preus? Is that like a Chaos Baku Pearl Preus? That's kind of cool. Uh, Diamonds, awesome. Jogans. And then it looks like Gen 3. Okay. B2, I assume. And then this looks like Gen 2. Because I see Trox peeking out there. Awesome. That's a that's a lot of ball. Ooh, we got a Darkest fan here. Okay. First Hydronoid of the video. We are roughly four minutes in. Awesome. Got the whole evolution set. Some kind of... Looks like a Baku Steel Hyper Dragonoid. Okay. Uh, Wormquake. Bee Striker. Okay. Laser Man. I don't know if this is a tablecloth, but it's really cool. More Darkest. Okay. Oh, these are cool. These are all... Elemental Gen 2, looks like. So some Nilius. Um, and then is that... Uh, Demorak? Demor Demorak? I can't remember. I'm close, though. I have watched some Gen 2. All right, let's see. Oh, we got uh, Shark Tar, it looks like. Fantastic. A couple of them back there, too. It's like one of every attribute, which is pretty cool. Nice to see that. Oh, you have the Preus. So this is a Darkest Preus, but it's got a blue color scheme. I don't know what the reasoning behind this was or why it's like this instead of just all purple. I want one, though. They're really cool. 
Uh, I got normal Preus there. It seems like he got most of the main characters. Let's see. So this is some combinations of Gogaryu, I think. That's how it's pronounced. Um, but this is a custom-made one. I believe this one's custom-made too. Uh, but they're resin casted, I'm pretty sure. So I'm really hoping to see a lot more 3D printed custom-made Bakugan in this episode because I think that's where Bakugan's heading. And I have a lot to say, but I want to wait until I get to some more collections to, to see if that's coming true. Uh, but very cool that you have these. These are awesome. This one looks sick. It's like a... A nice pale rose color. I'm, I'm a big fan of that one. I'm unfamiliar with this guy. Is this a disc shooter? Interesting. Got the Dragonoid Destroyer. Very nice. Oh, he's got some balls up on it too. Very cool. Ooh, a Betacore. And then, oh, you got Colossus there. Fear Ripper. I see a Hydranoid. Ooh, a Juggernoid. We haven't seen a Juggernoid yet, I don't think. And then Wavern and Naga. Very cool. Okay, you got a Go Garyu too. Ooh, and the Gaga Oris. Okay, you got a couple different Baku tech. I dig it. Got the dragons in there. Uh, this is a... I don't remember. So you got the limited edition Ventry. Awesome. Uh, looks like... Ooh, okay, there's the limited edition. And you got a Prisma Dragonoid. A Krakenoid. I don't recognize this one. It's white. It might be prototype. Not sure. Okay, and then some of the battle armors. Very good. And is this the, like, one of... Is it one of 500 or one of 1,000 Viperagon, I think? And then a glitter um, Sting Lash. Very cool. And you got the B1 Darkest Proto Dragonoid. Okay. And then this is the Geogen Limited Edition. Okay. These are cool. And it's got, like, the shiny... Yeah, okay. More Gen 3. Okay, it's like a combination of a bunch of stuff here. This one's a little blurry, but it looks like... Um, we have Ventry here. I can't make that one out. The, the quality's a little off. There is, there's Nilius as well. I got some Chaos. Okay. Tigrera, Hynoid, Ingram, Tristar. Got some Diamonds or... Oh, okay. This is uh, the Genesis collection. Very cool. All right. Awesome. Okay. Another huge collection here. Uh, what piques my interest? Okay. Uh, Iron Man. First Marvel Bakugan, I think. Very cool. Derak. Okay. Oh, we got, oh, what's his name? It starts with an R. It's something weird. Uh, he's like one of the evolution Bakugan. He's cool though. Got a B1 and B2 Delta Dragonoid. This looks like the Vortex Neo. Okay. A Pyro Dragonoid. Okay. This is, is this a Baku Neon or Baku Light Drago? That's cool too. I like the display here. So I have one of these too. This is like a golf ball display. Uh, if you want a easy way to store your Bakugan, the golf ball display is the way to go. Uh, but nice, you got the boxes for your Gogaryu. That's awesome. Let's take a look closer. Let's see what you got. Okay, a lot of Baku tech. Okay, I dig it. Oh, this one's got like... Is it got a shelf for the top? Because you have more back there. That's cool. <laughs> you got your little B1 Prius. Awesome. We got Barry Beyond. Oh, you got a Prius up here and some of the, the rings. I call them the sling rings from like Marvel. But you got the, the rings for the Baku tech as well. And then a Mark II Battle Gear compatible. A couple of Rise Dragons. This is cool. I like this. That's a lot of balls. Do you? So question. Hold on. <laughs> Do you sleep on your back or gone? <laughs> oh, wow. I got to take a moment to appreciate this because someone took the time to get out their entire collection and snap this photo. This is impressive. And it's color coded. Oh, wow. It's probably... I can kind of pick out a couple different ones. Oh, you got some traps down here. Nice. A couple different parts of uh, Maxis Drago. Oh, there's just so many. There's so many. Yeah, this might be the most Bakugan we've seen in this episode. I don't think it's the most I've ever seen in one of these videos, but it's up there. Uh, even got, I think that's Hydranoid. Very cool. I wonder how long this took to collect. This is awesome. Okay, perfect. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, so first let's react to it. So we have some different attribute colored Hydranoids. And we have the 3D printed Naga. This is awesome. Okay. Ooh, and a B2 Skyrus. Okay, okay. And I'm not sure about this fortress. Uh, I'm sure it's rare or like a prize one, sort of like the prize Drago and the prize Preus. So maybe it's 
Maybe it's similar, not sure. Um, but this is what I wanted to talk about because I've been seeing these online a lot and seeing you guys have them is a big deal because I think we finally did it. As a community, I think we finally achieved something that's been being asked for for a long time. So when I first started collecting, the idea of Silent Naga or even getting certain like Hydronoids or certain Bakugan that were never made was impossible. Like the idea of getting a Leonidas or a Silent Naga was unheard of. It was basically like, yeah, you know, there's like one guy out there who's made one, you know, it's it's cool. Like we'll never get it because he made it himself. Um, but then we have these people who have come into the community or have been around for a while and they've taken their resin casting skills or their 3D printing skills and done something that, you know, two years ago would have been unheard of, which is create Bakugan that have never been made before. Uh, specifically, I think Silent Naga is a very good example. Ultimate Dragonoid's a good example. Leonidas is probably the best example. Um, but just the ability that we have access to these to make these and paint these and like they've never been made before so the fact that the community wanted them so bad spin master never gave them to us we took it into our own hands and did it ourselves is amazing i think we've come so far as a community and this is one of the community's biggest achievements uh same with the hydronoids back here like the ability to cast a hydronoid like someone took their own hydronoid and casted it and now we can just like make blue ones or make pink ones or green ones like this one right here or you know orange ones or white ones and all that kind of stuff we can have the regular darkest hydronoid we never got you know we can do things like that now and i think that as a community this is probably the most impressive thing we've done and i'm so proud of you guys a huge shout out to the artists out here that make these models not just specifically this model or this hydronoid model but just in general shout out to you guys for putting in the work to give us these bakugan models to to have access to it's incredible oh even this even reinforces my uh my point like this this helios here this blue helios even this one i think is yeah like all these for the most part these are probably not i i assume this one is and then this one's like painted that's cool looking um, but like, yeah, the ability to like take these Bakugan that are so sought after and suddenly like they're actually reasonably priced is hands down amazing. These look good. This Helios in particular looks, I really like that. That's a cool color scheme. I really like this too. The, the, yeah, we're getting good at it. Like scary good at making these. Let's see, are there any in here that are custom made? Is this made last boss custom made? If so, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at all the Baku tech. That's really good. Yeah, like even some of these, I'm not sure if these are all printed or if they're prototypes or what, but like a lot of these don't have paint, so I'm not sure. To me, I assume they're 3D printed, but I don't know if we have models for all these, so they might just be prototypes someone got. These are actually impressive. Like the glitter Adeloid. Some people argue that these are fake. I don't, to me, unless there's like proof they were actually made, I, they gotta be kind of like fake. But I don't know. I don't even recognize this dude. Who is that? Yeah, like these uh, Percivals and stuff. Not 100% not sure about those. This one might be. Um, but some of the glitters, I'm not sure. Okay, there's more. Yeah, like all these rattaloids and stuff. Just now the fact that we have the ability to, to 3D print and resin cast these, it makes it so hard to differentiate a prototype from the real thing. And I don't know how that how that's differentiated now. I guess as a community, we're gonna have to figure that out. Uh, this is cool. I wonder if this is spray painted. Yeah, I don't know. You'll have to let me know if, if you're watching this, whoever owns this collection. Like, how did you acquire these? Or are they handmade and stuff like that? I have a lot of questions. Okay. Oh, yep. See, more 3D printed stuff. So it looks like we have, is this a uh, dryoid? And then, is that a lose? Okay. And then this is, is that, is that Borai 80s? And then this is, um, oh, I don't remember his name. It's kind of a weird name though. 
I think these are cool. And then there's like the spider one. I don't remember his name either. Very cool. Yeah, these look good. And like, obviously some of these are like prototypes and stuff too. But just the fact that we can have these is crazy. The files and stuff, like the people that make these. Shout out to you guys. All right, guys, I hate to do this to you, but there's going to have to be a part two because there are just so many submissions. Uh, part two will be coming out soon, so stay tuned. And again, I apologize. I'm not really a part two person, but I felt like for this one, it was kind of necessary. Um, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe for more awesome content. My name is Jesse, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.